Okay, now the next thing you want to do is you want to check, make sure that the clutch, the clutch lever has been greased, right? Sometimes the little Chinese case will get to put grease in there. Uh, it doesn't need to have a lot, just make sure that it's got, you know, at least some kind of assembly's grease in it, at least at the minimum. This one here looks greased pretty good. You want to check it, here, let me, let me get the angle better. You want to check to make sure that the shaft has been greased and that it slides in and out really easy. Uh -huh, see? This is the clutch, this is the actual clutch shaft right here. You want to make sure it's been greased, it slides in and out, there's no foreign object or nothing down in the hole. Right. You don't necessarily need a whole blob of grease on it, you just need enough right, so that it works. And then periodically you want to stop, you want to take this cover off, right? you want to make sure that it's greased. Right. When you get the chain tensioner, the chain tensioner bolts out to the outside right here. Right. So that, uh, you want it to fit, oops. You want it to fit on right. Oops, let's see, it goes this way right here. Right, you want it to fit on right, you want to make sure it's good. Alright, the clutch, the clutch arm. Alright. Probably just getting nothing but that. So you want to make sure that the lever's greased, see? It's got good grease on it. Uh, if not, I recommend some kind of a good lithium based multi purpose grease. Uh, make sure that it slides in right and that it works good. Uh, and then you want to have it lined up right when you drop it on. So just like that. See? And then when the two screws are in it, right, you see how it raises up? The two screws are in it, there's enough pressure for it to actuate the clutch. The three screws. Right, you see, I'm are, you know fairly self-explanatory. The long one goes right here. Right, the two short ones go in the other two holes, obviously. All right. All right. So uh, I set the camera up against the impact gun, so I have to run them down by hand. Right. It's not that big of a deal, really. The machine screws, they turn fairly fast. Right, looks like Connie's here, one of my bosses. Seems like sometimes there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians, huh? There we go. Now these here, you ain't got to crank them down to a million pounds of torque, right? You don't. I don't recommend using threadlock here because, you know, I mean, there's a potential for you to be taking this cover on and off a lot. All right? So, don't, I don't recommend threadlock because you're just wasting your time and your energy and especially your money and your threadlock that could be used on something, you know, a little better. <laughs> right? You want to make sure that you screw these puppies in straight. Right? Let's see. There it is. Right. Let's screw them down to their snug. And then I believe the recommended torque spec is 14 PSI. I just give given like about a quarter turn after snug. Right. We gotta be careful because these fucking these just screwed up. So these machine screws. Right, or Chinese. So you want to be real careful on the t on the heads, right? Because you got the you know the double slots, the Phillips and the slot. So you want to be really careful. You don't want to be using an impact gun too much. But if you do, you want to sit on the low setting. You just want to you know not screw up, gum up the heads too much. All right. So we've checked the magneto, we've checked the clutch and the gear. It's got a 10 tooth sprocket. Right. The intake looks pretty good. The exhaust gasket looks pretty good. Right, uh, there's a little bit of a gap right here between the cylinder head gas and the cylinder, but I'm going to wait and see until we start it to see if we need to do anything with that. Right, these right here, I believe, are torqued to 21 PSI. All right, the little motor looks pretty good on this side, so I'm going to flip it over, and the next part is to check to make sure the clutch is all good and right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, we're going to save that for the next part. Thank you. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, thank you.